scientists say a trillion ton iceberg has broken off from Antarctica. An iceberg so vast, it's four times the area of London. Scientists are sounding the alarm on what they call biological annihilation. A new study lays out what could be a sixth mass extinction event. UK researchers say a trillion ton iceberg has broken off from the Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf. Well, to put that into perspective, the breakaway iceberg is around twice the size of Luxembourg or four times the size of London. Well, it sounds extraordinary, but it wasn't a surprise to scientists who have been monitoring the development of a large Larsen's ice for more than a decade. Scientists at Swansea University say that sea levels are unlikely to change since the sheet of ice was already floating before it carved off the ice. We're turning now to a stark new warning about the future of our planet. Many scientists say it is now clear that Earth is entering its sixth mass extinction event. Well, it follows the publication of a new study which examined the populations of thousands of species, both common and rare. The research found that even species that are not close to extinction are in trouble. One third of land-based mammals, birds, amphibians and reptiles are shrinking in terms of their numbers and territorial range. The author says it amounts to, quote, a biological annihilation. Well, earlier, one of the study's co-authors spoke to CNN about why humans are to blame. This is the first time we've had a mass extinction caused by a knowledgeable agent doing the extinction. We, you know, the last one was a, an asteroid hitting the Earth. Now it's just human overpopulation and overconsumption. And the sad thing is, of course, that we are utterly dependent on the plants, animals and microorganisms of the planet. And wiping them out is the equivalent of sawing off the limb we're sitting on. And that is, it's pushing us towards a collapse of civilization because of the essential services that we depend on uh, from those other organisms. A very dangerous situation. You know, the numbers just seem so incredibly bleak. Uh, in the last 40 years, which is in my lifetime, 50% of the wildlife on the planet has, has been wiped out. Is one of the problems here simply trying to get people to understand the scope and the extent of this crisis? Yeah, and not only is it trying to get people to understand it, but trying to get politicians to understand it, to take the actions that we need to preserve this life support systems for our grandchildren and for me, for our great grandchildren. So it's a gigantic problem. It's largely political and economic. As long as we feel that we can grow forever, you know, the average economist uh, lives in a magical world in which they think you can grow forever on a finite planet. And we're quickly seeing in the climate situation, which is similar and tied to the extinction situation, that we can't grow forever on a finite planet without suffering catastrophic consequences. Frightening, isn't it? Well, that was Stanford University biologist Paul Elric speaking there.